Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 248. In this lesson, we will learn about the ordinals. We learned about previously the cardinals and those were the numbers. So for example, a cardinal would be like number one. An ordinal would be first. So cardinals and ordinals from numbers one to 19. Now, for the ordinals column, we went over the cardinals um, column last last video. But uh, if you see on the right hand, in this section, we have some extra letters to add on to it, and those are going to be added on when you are using the number to describe something that is feminine. if you're describing a noun that is feminine in gender. So, number one, eka, the ordinal for that first. First would be prathama, feminine would be prathama. Second would be dvitiya, feminine dvitiya. Third, tritiya, then you would have for feminine tritiya. So for the feminine, you're just adding an um a long a. For some of them, you're adding a long e instead. Fourth, chatur, feminine chatur t. Now there's two other versions to say fourth. This is also fourth, turiya, and so is the word tur, turiya. So turiya and turiya also means fourth as well as chaturtha. Feminine for turiya is turiya, and feminine for turiya is turiya. Fifth, paschama. Feminine, paschami. Sixth, shashta. Feminine, shashti. Shashti. Number seven, the seventh, seventh would be saptama. Feminine would be saptami. Eighth would be ashtama. Feminine would be ashtami. Number nine, the ninth would be navama. Feminine would be navami. Tenth would be dashama. Feminine would be dashami. Eleventh would be ekadasha. Feminine would be ekadashi. Twelfth would be Dwadasha. Feminine would be Dwadashi. Thirteenth would be Trayodasha. Feminine would be Trayodashi. Fourteenth would be Chatudasha. Feminine would be Chatudashi. Fifteenth would be Panchadasha. Feminine would be Panchadashi. Sixteenth would be Shordasha. Feminine would be Shordashi. The seventeenth would be Saptadasha. Feminine would be Saptadashi. Eighteenth would be Ashtadasha. Feminine would be ashta dashi. Number nineteen of uh, the nineteenth would be navadasha. For feminine, it would be nineteenth would be navadashi. So the words prathama, dvitiya, and tritiya. So that is first, second, and third 
are optionally declined to like pronouns in the dative, ablative, and locative singular. All ordinals form their feminine in long e, except for prathama, dvitiya, tritiya, turiya, turiya, which form their feminine in long a. So these are all of the cardinals, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, all the way up to the 19th. Not the cardinals, the ordinals. The cardinals would be such as eka, dwi, tri, chatur, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be found, the pronunciation of that would be in the previous video. But these are all of the ordinals that we just went over. First, second, third, all the way up to the 19th. And with that, this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.